Hello, Stargazers. We're NASA astronaut Stephen Bowen, Woody Hover, Frank Rubio, and astronaut Sultan Anyadi. We're on a mission to get you all ready for the upcoming total eclipse. And there's a lot to cover. What? Where? How? When? A total eclipse happens when the moon travels between the sun and the earth and completely blocks the light from the sun. If you are in the path of totality, everything will get dark and you'll be in for the show of a lifetime. Expect a lot of excitement. If you want to know where the path will travel, I've got a map right here for you. The path will stretch from North America, starting from Mexico to Maine, and even a tiny bit of Canada. The only time you can look at the total eclipse without eye protection is during a brief period of totality when the moon completely covers the sun. Viewing any part of the sun without protection, even for a short amount of time, can cause serious eye damage. One way to safely view the sun is with eclipse glasses. Solar eclipse glasses are thousands of times darker than traditional sunglasses. Make sure they're ISO certified by looking for a label like this one. If they appear to be scratched or damaged, don't use them. If you don't have eclipse glasses, you can use an indirect viewing method like a pinhole projector. Basically, use any holy object and cast a shadow on a nearby surface and check out the crescent shapes. If you're feeling crafty, you can even make a pinhole viewer using a cardboard box. If you want to use a telescope, binoculars, or camera to view the sun, you must place a safe solar filter on those two, except during totality. If you're not lucky enough to be near the eclipse, you can still experience it all with NASA live coverage on NASA Plus, April 8th from 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Of course, you can find all this information and more at go.nasa.gov slash eclipse2024. Happy viewing.